here we have our wonderful sorrel jam that we made in the last video now we have yeast now we're gonna have to dissolve the yeast in warm water it's about a cup of warm water give it a good stir until it is totally dissolved Now we pour our yeast into our bowl. Then we're gonna add some cow's milk. What are you making? What are you, what are you, what are you making? Add some granulated sugar and some honey. Who's now we're gonna. Who's now we're gonna beat our eggs. Now we're gonna add the egg to the mixture of the yeast and the milk and yes that was my little son in the background being curious as to what we were making now we're going to gradually add flour as we beat the mixture so when you're done with the mixture it should look like this like a soft dough and you just go ahead and knead it in and then we add our butter and our salt and we're just gonna knead this in until it is totally combined now we're going to flour our board And then we're gonna further knead our dough until everything is smooshed and melted and combined. There you go, the sexy dough right there, looking nice. So now we put the dough into our bowl and we are going to cover it up with a piece of plastic. We didn't have any saran wrap, so we had to be innovative right there. Put a towel over the dough and we put it to rise. So after it had risen, now we're going to use our rolling pin and we are going to roll it to about, mm, I'd say maybe a quarter thickness. So as you cut each circular piece of the dough, we are going to lay them out on a piece of parchment paper as you can see. And then we are going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. You can even leave it up to two or three days, then it makes the dough more like a sourdough. So 
now we start the frying process. So you're gonna place the dough. And remember, this is a dough that was in the refrigerator overnight. Now you're gonna place it in some very hot oil, not too hot, maybe like medium heat. And you are going to fry it until you get this golden brown color. This was a bit tricky because it's very easy to burn. And for me, frying is always tricky because then you want it to look nice and golden on the outside, but then you have to make sure the inside is cooked. So now we are going to start the filling process. So we're going to cut a small little slit there at the side of the donut and then we fill the piping bag with the sorrel jam that we made. And now we're going to insert it into the donut. And voila, there you have it, sorrel donut. Now we're gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar on both sides. See, it wasn't too hard. It's a little bit tricky, but not too hard. See, that's a nice, sexy sorrel donut there. Something tastes good, you see? Aye!